Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25-point scale, 5 for the smell, 10 for the taste, 5 for the finish, and a combined 5 for the bottle and look of the juice. Another good wafty one. This is very nicely oaked. Strong caramel. Red apple. Mm. Has a dusty smell to it that I've been getting on a few bourbons this year. I've been getting some dusty smelling bourbons. Opening I up have been palette. going into some older whiskeys lately that I'm, yeah. I'm getting into them nicely. Some nice vanilla. The longer it sits out, the sweeter it gets. It's like a candy shop. Butterscotch. Very buttery, like just general. A little toffee. Warming up and slathering in butter. Praline pecans. Oh. So cinnamony, no, not cinnamon, sugary yeah, pecans. Sugary, cinnamony. I like cinnamony. Yep. I don't remember. Praline seeing. is like buttery. Sugar, cinnamon, something. I love praline pecans. I remember when your grandma went to Florida and you brought home a whole jar from like Costco. I smashed them. I get so excited and then come home and they're gone. A slight alcohol tingle. I think it's perfect. I give it a five out of five. Whoa. Yeah, that's that's tough to do. Breaking the calculator. Here we go. I can't really. Get anything I don't like in it. Okay. Let's hope the taste is as good. This is very oaky. Mm -hmm. It's very warm. It tingled my nose when you went away. You didn't warn me. I just took a big old sip. Every single time I give you something <laughs> higher proof, you guzzle it and then I feel terrible. Bottoms up. Oh, this is so good though. That is one of the oakiest bourbons I've ever had. Um, very similar to the nose, maybe a little less sweet. A lot of pepper in there, black pepper, vanilla, caramel, a little cinnamon, very buttery, just like the, the nose. It's a little briny. Definitely barrel proof or close to barrel proof. Uh, the next couple sips are definitely a lot smoother. That first one really hit me. And I've been drinking for the past hour. I haven't been drinking anything this high proof. It's at least 125. Um, there's a nuttiness in there. It's like a, a dried almond. Not salted or anything, just like a bag of dried almonds. Assuming all like almonds are roasted, dried. Yeah, roasted, roasted almonds. almonds. Yeah. A little bit of like rye toast in the back too. Okay. So there is a little rye in there. That is so good. I'm going to get a 9.25. Okay. Now the finish, I can still taste it. I haven't taken a sip in a little bit now. Um, the oak comes very very drying comes through very drying do you know that feeling yet do you want to explain that because i'm a little confused <sighs> take a sip i mean people that know or drink age stuff it's very dry i don't know how to say that you're hesitant that gives me some ideas like, it doesn't feel like it's moist, right? That oak is like, feels like it's pulling moisture out. I don't even know how to describe that, but what else do you know what that means? I'm sorry. <laughs> she don't do this. <clears throat> uh, Great. The, the vanilla comes through and that lasts a while. Char kind of sticks around for some time. That's like my main char. And a little, little rye stick around for the longest. Mm. 
great mouthfeel. I really do like that dryingness. It feels would, like it's pulling the moisture out of your tongue. I don't it's know. Like, it's weird. I get what I you're saying, know. though. <clears throat> I'm going to give it a 4.5. Mm -hmm. That dryness, I do love it, but it might be a little overpowering. Okay. But definitely very minusculing overpowering. I'm making mm -hmm. up words. Minusculing. Minuscule. Um. Did I say great mouthfeel? Yeah, forgot. you sure did. Let's move on. Perfect mouthfeel. Look is very dark. Holy cow. Nice though. That is like cedar. No, that's darker than cedar. Mahogany. We're just going mahogany this time. Mahogany. Red mahogany. Is that a type of tree? Sure. Ooh, yeah. It's a red mahogany. We'll go with that. Um. Apparently, I'm a tree farmer now. It's pretty. Very, very thick legs. Many mm -hmm. legs. They just stick, too. That is perfect on the legs and color by far. 2.25. 2.5? No, 2.5. Oh, did I say 2.25? You, you did. Okay. 2.5, perfect. Any guesses? Yes. I taste a lot of age, mm -hmm. um, a lot of proof, mm -hmm. certain profile of Elijah Craig, mm -hmm. Heaven Hill, mm -hmm. I'm going to say Elijah Craig. Mm -hmm. We have a couple different bottles, is it the new one? B520? B520, 127.2. Mm-hmm. That's a little lower for a normal Elijah. Yeah. That is delicious. So for you guys that aren't familiar, obviously we are huge fans of Elijah Craig. If you do not know or seen any of our videos, shame on you. Um, this, between this and Booker's and maybe not Creek now, those are my dailies. Yeah. So Elijah Craig has a 12 year age statement on everything it puts out. Um, this is their barrel proof. They introduced this in March of 2013 was their first release. Um, it's usually the high 120s, low 130s. It's usually in the 130s. Um, most of them have been in the 130s. So Last they're one was pretty, 136. Yeah, they're, they're pretty proofy. Last year um, they did have one 122. Yeah. That was pretty low. I didn't get to try that one though. So... 78% corn, 12% malted barley, 10% rye. There's that nice little rye bite in there for you. MSRP is $65. Um, Which we get it at that. And surprisingly. In yeah, Michigan. surprisingly. Elijah Craig is not hard to come by, and they have been putting stuff up. Now, yes, I know the rye and the toasted no. barrel we're probably never going to see, but. People in Tennessee and a few other states I see cannot get this at all. Oh. I don't know why we in Michigan are getting this. We don't get anything. Almost, if but there can, wasn't a barrel here, I would I can fall always off my grab chair. One. I can Gosh. always grab one of these. For once, Michigan has something people down south don't. That's phenomenal. Even in Kentucky, it's harder to find. Golly. It's crazy. So, Elijah Craig is a huge staple in this household. We love it. I, it was the bourbon that got me into bourbon, and John's been drinking it since he was knee-high to a grasshopper. What? So... You Me old. high to a grasshopper. You old. That doesn't mean old. That and means short. you drinking since you were a baby. I don't know. I have not. Um, I've been drinking since I was 21-ish. <laughs> Boone's Farm before 21. Don't no. tell me. <clears throat> okay. So there are four releases of Barrel Proof every year. They do one in January. Oh, huh? There's three. I'm sorry. There's three. I was... Booker's, you got me. Yeah. Huh. Okay, there are three releases every year. Um, they they go off of the month, the year, um, and the month, the the release, the month, and the year. Mm -hmm. So they do an A, B, C, and then usually a one, five, and a nine. Nine. And then, uh, the year, and then the year. 20. So like we have an A119, which would have been the first release of last year. I will say we can get this year, but Larceny... I cannot get the new batch. Yeah. I messaged Larceny and they said, well, that one went out in May, so you probably should look for the next batch. 
We never got the second No, batch. we didn't get the B batch, so. I wonder if it's behind or stuck in a warehouse in Michigan. You know how well this state runs. Who knows? So, so bottle. 12 year age statement, I completely disagree. They had to have had some older barrels in this one. This is the oakiest bourbon I've ever had. Well, you know. I've had 15 years the highest Knob Creek, and that, that was really oaky. Maybe they but just know where to put their barrels. But remember, they also had to go by the minimum barrel that's in their barrel. I'm aware. Just uh, like I also heard this didn't affect my notes because I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. John Edwards of <coughs> Bad Shrink and Bourbon also disagreed that it's 12 years. It has to be more. Well... So if it's more than one person. Oh, I see. You're following the fad. I got it. It's not a fad. It's just John's <laughs> agreeing, I guess. John's agreeing. He spelled okay. his name wrong. Bottle. John? I don't know. What do I usually rate this bottle? I don't know. Like, more I like it. 1.75. But I like the old one better, as I always say. I'm going to give it 1.75. They did change it with this label. They added barrel proof here instead of small batch. They changed this a little bit. I think barrel proof used to be down there. Just a um, little bit of a different look. And they added, like, in, it says, my notes, 2017, they started adding the barrel, like, the the batch information. So, apparently in 2013, when they were releasing Barrel Proof, it was just Barrel Proof. Then they started adding no. all the different stuff. What they did, they didn't have, like, batch numbers, but they put the proof on it so you could still get a different like right. you can tell it's batch one batch two batch three okay you just had to look at the proof. so now they're making their stickers a little bit yeah. more readable we like information as fans and nerds the more information on the bottle the less we have to look up do you remember any of my numbers 92 <sighs> so man oh man putting some top contenders there which i'm not surprised i feel like elijah always is in the running for bur for bourbon of the definitely year definitely this year both the a and yeah. b batches are spectacular hmm. so they used to vary a little bit they you'd get one that you love you get one that you just like pretty good it's like every batch is like phenomenal now they're critiquing, figuring They're stuff out. Very, very consistent right now. Mm -hmm. See where it goes. All right. Well, let us know how long have you been drinking Elijah Craig? What do you think? What batch has been your favorite the past a few or years? B. I'm gonna do a side by side. Yep. We've got. Um, I'm gonna let other this one. open up a little bit. I have uh, four ounces left of the other one because that one opened up and it got it changed. So I want to see what this. And then one it is. disappeared. I Should drank I just it. it sneak was good. some out before it you good. drink it all? So let us know what you guys think. We'll definitely do a side-by-side -side of the first and second batches of this year and see what John ultimately thinks. Um, like it used to. I don't even know which way I lean right now. I don't They're know either. So they are both very good. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But there you have it. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Second batch of the year. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.